cool. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Bernardi, uh, being with you and uh, Blue Sacon. Uh, first of all, uh, my topic is talking about what's happening inside the science communicator head. As science communicators who are sharing the knowledge, sharing the science, they are thinking a lot. They may be overthinking of what they are going to deliver. So I'm Amar Anis, and I'm working on the science, pro uh, science communication project with Dr. Graham Lowe at the MCISS. Uh, first of all, uh, my minute. Uh, first of all, uh, I can tell you just a little story. I was going with my friends. It was the uh, 10th of August. Uh, it was in South Cairo in Egypt. Uh, I was having two friends. Uh, some of them uh, works in economic, uh, economics, and the other was studying in art and design. Uh, just walking to hiking, walking, uh, taking chat, just entertaining. But the science communicator spirit uh, inside myself going out and going to ask them, what do you know about if the Earth is going around the sun, but what's the opposite of the sun going orbit around the Earth? And here we go. <laughs> the other one um, going to giving them an the facts. That's all about um, science facts, uh, things they are not relevant to them, even their backgrounds, even they're not willing to listen. But they are really willing, uh, not, are willing to listen. They're playing with files, uh, uh, looking around, walking even <laughs> from, uh, from uh, far away. But I'm asking myself, why aren't they willing not to listen to me? Maybe something not relevant for them, not their backgrounds, not their education. Uh, maybe I'm repeating the information that I'm, I'm showing on social media, or maybe they saw before or reading in, in a book. Maybe in first information or first knowledge, uh, I'm coming from non-trusted sources. Uh, maybe I'm just telling the facts. This sounds like um, a sun is going from Y to S, and there's something is very simple. So it's maybe a wrong impression of science, or maybe they are have the diverse background. So I'm going to ask them, what's your perspective of science? What, how you can measure the science? They telling me this someone uh, wearing a coat or white coat and the blame with symbols, maybe chemicals. Um, the other saying me, um, it was some wearing the same white coat and playing with his microscope, seeing the bacteria and the microscopic level. Maybe I say science is uh, really difficult for them. What about programming? They're telling me uh, maybe a hacker going to uh, sell and give data, uh, maybe a rubber bank. Not about telling me uh, the applications like Zoom, we are talking about maybe other benefits of uh, programming uh, products. But why does this happen in first place? Maybe they have a culture or a different culture. I am from Egypt, the other from Syrian, and the other from South in Egypt. Maybe not all of us is going through technology, maybe not um, raised in the same place. Maybe the cow, where the cow is going, we are going with. Maybe the education, I'm studying biotechnology, the other economics is the other, uh, the other about the earth and design. So it's maybe about the religion or even opinions. I have an opinion or belief that this particular part of science is not, not, not good for me. Uh, I'm not interested about, it's just a belief. So if you're going to terminology about the science, it's derived from a word, senatia. It's a Latin word. But senatia is meaning a knowledge. So uh, we are not sharing the science, we are sharing the knowledge to the people. People need to know, not just know things simple. Maybe I'm going to listen to the story about the ancient Greeks. Ancient Greeks is what uh, a huge of scientists, but the science were only for the scientists, not going far for the people. Uh, people are not explained to know what's happening in the science field. So the science will go around, and making, sharing the knowledge with the people. It enhances the economy, enhances the industry, make people enjoying the science folk. This is that just from a science communication, from an ancient grid. But if we're going further, it was Michael Faraday and Benjamin Smart. Benjamin Smart was a philosopher that's talking about and giving lectures about the philosophy of language. So Michael Faraday pays money just to attend his lectures for about 10 years. Then Michael Faraday going to conclusion 
what's happening when this Benjamin Smart going to deliver and have uh, lectures? He's just people come to experience the emotions. What he gives for them, not just knowledge and background, just he gives them an emotion and feeling of entertaining, what he say. So uh, there is a great science to work with, Dr. Hamlow. He uh, just gave me a, a huge step about what, how can we sharing, how we communicating the science. We just not going about uh, more than facts. We going far away from the topic we are interested about. We are giving emotions. We giving something value for the people. Uh, what's really happening inside the science community? What's really happening to me inside my head now? And before I'm giving or delivering this talk, very simple. Um, I don't know if this presentation is very perfect for you. I don't know if I giving you first information in some part. I don't know the whole audience here if maybe know what I'm saying or not this first time for them. It's all what's happening inside my head and inside every science communicators. How we can obligate, how can, how can we come over that? So how does it work? How does science communication work? We have been collecting data. You can um, think of trends, what's happening in the world, maybe about the COVID uh, vaccines. You can share knowledge about that. You can share knowledge about um, the James Webb, the telescope. Uh, you can use in the right sources, not a false information for the people that are going not uh, listen to me, uh, listen, listen to you, or even using it with others. So you are just sharing the false information around and around. Craft a story. People love the crafting story. That all of us are a story, a storyteller, and from the birth, uh, write a script, uh, write it again, edit it again. That all the people can understand you. Avoid the complex terms. Avoid the graphs that have a lot of colors, a lot of drawings, then share your idea. There is an example of how people present their ideas. Just you can make in one, two, three, four, instead of making a lot of graphs. Going your graphs and drawings is a little complex for all people who are going to deliver science or even deliver an idea for just the people and not science related. So you just engage, not just making or delivering only facts or just the drawings. So how we even simplify the, the science itself, how can make any idea acceptable for the other? If we're going through scientists, scientists who are the expert in what I'm going to say. So it's only for science? No, we can also share our knowledge, not even in the science field, but there are other fields we can share with others. So there's a seven techniques you can use in sharing your knowledge sharing your ideas. First of all, be material that you can use something I can feel, something physical to me, like a dove. I can make a dove and some rocks. I can explain to you the process of building. It's so simple. Uh, if I'm using a peg picture, all elements, are all details I have, but not going deeper to the level that makes you very boring, make it so knowledge, uh, so much knowledge, sorry. Uh, make it fun, make people laugh, make people enjoy what you are saying. So craft a story. This is about third time I'm telling you craft a story. Stories we are solely started from the birth, making it enjoyable for the people. Uh, turn to the right sources, as you say, don't use the false information. And about the crafting story, just a little step about the crafting. As it started from the beginning, I'm telling you uh, it was a uh, 10th of August. Uh, it's a place in Cairo. Uh, I'm with friends. Uh, going to uh, at 12 p.m. just to people place a time going in middle and action that I'm telling them uh, about the science. They are not listening to me. That's a classic event. Something that gives them the emotion. Then and I'm going to the resolution of conflict that how I overcome this. Then I am talking about the lessons that I learned and the happy closure. And I'll tell you what's the happy ending of this whole story. First of all, be honestic. You need to be honest. Uh, people feel what they are going to say. And all grab the attention. All do what you work. Do your best. Do how can you do. And even make the people all the attention to every word you say. Uh, maybe I'm making some defects. Maybe I'm telling some safe words and this one. So I'm practicing, hurtling, uh, practicing with uh, uh, your people around, friends, family, to make it so perfect. 
and the end at BMSS and my happy pleasure, I make new friends, meet a great scientist, I'm ready to bring new things, and I'm talking to you now. <laughs> so uh, I make the interviews and some, uh, something I'm proud of uh, in the last days. Um, thank you. <laughs> That's all. Great job, Omar. Um, that's wonderful. Um, I really appreciate your talk and, and you've changed a lot. Um, Akila came together here. I, I, I'm curious, so, so big picture, can you tell us, you know, in your vision, why do we communicate science? Well, what is it that, that drives us and compels us or, or maybe makes us feel that we need to communicate science? Uh, we need to communicate a science that uh, a, lot of we, um, a lot of people, uh, going through social media, maybe uh, getting this as a source of information from people who are not even related to science. Um, so they get the, the wrong way of how to deliver this to, uh, from person to another, from generation to another. That's about scientific uh, concepts. Like something about the vaccines. If we're talking about the vaccines and the COVID, the people who tell you if you uh, get the vaccine, you turn into the zombie. <laughs> something about uh, false information. So you need to uh, clarify the scientific topics to the others, making the complex thing about the science to something be uh, involved in industries, uh, involving in something like an entrepreneurship, making the science more simple for the people, making people learn more about the science and get involved in the scope. It's not only for the scientists and the experts. You can even learn about the for your life. I think this is from my perspective, making very simple, making it applicable to the others, making the project for them it will be very helpful. Thank you very much. Do we have any other questions for the chat or does anyone want to unmute themselves and ask a question? I just wanted to thank you for the seven uh, points, the seven pieces of advice. I think those are excellent. Thank you.